Imagine hurtling through the vast emptiness of space at over 60 kilometers per second, a speed that would cross the distance from New York to Los Angeles in mere seconds. That's the reality for 3I-ATLAS, the third confirmed interstellar comet to grace our solar system, a cosmic wanderer born not in our neighborhood but from the distant stars beyond. Discovered just this year, this icy visitor is rewriting our understanding of the universe's hidden highways. Today, we're diving deep into the story of 3I-ATLAS, what it is, where it's from, and why its upcoming close encounter with Mars has astronomers buzzing with excitement. Stick around as we unpack the science, the discoveries, and what this means for our place in the cosmos. Let's start at the beginning, the discovery. Back in early 2025, the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS for short, a network of telescopes scanning the skies for potential threats, spotted an unusual object in the constellation of Virgo. Initially cataloged as A11PL3Z, it quickly revealed its true nature, a comet on a hyperbolic orbit, meaning it's not bound to our sun's gravity and will eventually sling back into interstellar space. This marked it as the third interstellar object we've ever detected, following the enigmatic Oumuamua in 2017 and the more comet-like 2 i slash borisov in 2019. Unlike asteroids that circle our sun, these visitors come from other star systems, offering a rare glimpse into the building blocks of planets around distant suns. What makes 3I-ATLAS so special? For one, it's the largest of the three interstellar objects we've seen so far. Observations from the Hubble Space Telescope in August 2025 provided the sharpest image yet, estimating the comet's nucleus at about 20 kilometers across, roughly the size of a small city. That's significantly bigger than Borisov's nucleus, which was only about a kilometer wide. As it approaches the sun, 3I-ATLAS has developed a dusty coma and a tail, classic signs of a comet heating up and shedding gas and dust. Spectroscopic data from ground-based telescopes like Gemini North in Hawaii revealed familiar cometary ingredients. Water ice, carbon monoxide, and even organic molecules that hint at the chemistry of its home star system. These compositions suggest it formed in a cold outer region of another solar system, perhaps analogous to our own Kuiper belt, but with subtle differences that could tell us about the diversity of planetary formation across the galaxy. Astronomers' excitement peaked when the James Webb Space Telescope turned its gaze toward 3I-ATLAS in August 2025. Using its near-infrared spectrograph, JWST captured detailed spectra that pierced through the coma, revealing intricate details about the comet's makeup. The data showed elevated levels of carbon dioxide and complex organics, which aren't as abundant in solar system comets. This could mean 3I-ATLAS originated from a star system richer in these compounds, perhaps around a red dwarf star where conditions favored different chemical reactions. It's like holding a piece of another world's history in our hands. Literally, a frozen time capsule from billions of years ago ejected by gravitational interactions with a giant planet or stellar flyby in its native system. Now, let's talk trajectory. 3I-ATLAS is barreling through our solar system on a highly inclined path, entering from the direction of the constellation Lyra and heading toward the inner planets before swinging out again. Its speed is staggering, incoming at about 60 kilometers per second relative to the sun, which is slower than Aumuamua's blistering 26 kilometers per second but still far faster than typical solar system comets. It'll reach perihelion, its closest point to the sun, around October 30th, 2025, at about 1.4 astronomical units, or roughly 210 million kilometers away, safely outside Earth's orbit. No worries for us here on the Blue Marble. The closest it'll come to Earth is over 1.8 astronomical units, about 270 million kilometers. But here's where things get really interesting. In early October, just weeks from now, 3I-ATLAS will make a close pass by Mars, coming within about 0.19 astronomical units, or roughly 28 million kilometers. Close enough in astronomical terms for our red planet's orbiters to get a good look. 
This Mars flyby isn't just a footnote, it's a golden opportunity for science. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, with its high-resolution high-rise camera, is slated to image the comet during the approach, potentially capturing details of its nucleus and tail from a unique vantage point. ESA's Trace Gas Orbiter and other missions like China's Tianwen-1 could join in, providing multi-wavelength observations that ground telescopes can't match due to the sun's glare. Imagine the data pouring in. Spectra of the comet's gases interacting with Martian space, or even spotting how the flyby stirs up any dust in Mars's orbit. And for the teams at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, this is like having a front row seat to an interstellar show, advancing our knowledge of how such objects behave near planets. To put this in perspective, think back to the human stories behind these discoveries. The ATLAS team, led by researchers at the University of Hawaii and funded by NASA, has been tirelessly scanning the skies since 2015, originally to spot hazardous asteroids, but now uncovering these interstellar gems. It's a testament to the dedication of scientists like Larry Denno, who helped confirm Oumuamua and now 3i slash ATLAS. And at Harvard's Center for Astrophysics, experts like Avi Loeb have been pondering the implications, drawing parallels to how these objects might carry signs of extraterrestrial chemistry, or even, in speculative but grounded discussions, the potential for microbial life preserved in the ice. Loeb's work reminds us that while we're not talking aliens here, these comets challenge us to think bigger about life's origins. Of course, with great discoveries come misconceptions. You've probably seen headlines claiming 3i slash A T L A S is an alien spacecraft or on a collision course with Mars. Pure sensationalism. NASA has firmly stated it poses no threat to any planet, and the Mars approach is a safe 28 million kilometers farther than the distance from Earth to the Moon. The object's behavior is quintessentially cometary, outgassing as it warms, not some engineered propulsion. Claims of metallic cores or rhythmic pulses? Those stem from early, unverified social media buzz, not peer-reviewed data. The real story is far more awe-inspiring, the natural wonders of the universe unfolding before our telescopes. By addressing these myths head-on, we honor the scientific process, Verify, observe, and learn. Diving deeper into the science, 3i slash A T L A S offers clues about interstellar travel. Its hyperbolic orbit implies it was gravitationally scattered from its home system eons ago, perhaps during the chaotic youth of a binary star or planetary migration. By studying its trajectory backward, astronomers trace its path to the constellation of Lyra near the star Vega, though it's unlikely from there directly more like a relic from the galaxy's vast Oort cloud analogs. The comet's size and activity also suggest interstellar objects might be more common than we thought. Estimates now put their passage through our solar system at one in a million solar system at one per year, hidden until better surveys like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory come online in the coming years. Recent advancements in observation tech have supercharged this research. Gemini South in Chile captured images in September 2025 showing the comet's growing tail, a beautiful arc of dust stretching millions of kilometers as solar wind pushes it away. This tail isn't just pretty, it acts like a cosmic fingerprint revealing the comet's rotation and composition. If we detect asymmetries, it could indicate past collisions or uneven heating from its journey. For students of astronomy, this is a live classroom. How does an object from another star system interact with our sun's radiation? The answers could refine models for exoplanet atmospheres or even guide future missions to intercept such visitors. Looking ahead, the Mars flyby in October could yield breakthroughs in planetary defense too. While 3i slash ATLAS isn't a threat, practicing observations on an interstellar object hones our skills for spotting real hazards. NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office monitors such events to protect assets like the Perseverance rover, which might indirectly benefit from enhanced tracking. Imagine if we could one day nudge a dangerous interloper. Tools like the DART mission, which successfully altered an asteroid's path in 2022, are steps toward that. For human exploration, understanding these objects reminds us of the risks and rewards of venturing to Mars. A colony there would need robust defenses against cosmic debris. 
As we wrap up this journey through the stars with three I slash A T L A S, let's reflect on the bigger picture. This comet isn't just a fleeting visitor, it's a bridge to the universe's untold stories, challenging our assumptions and sparking wonder. From its discovery by vigilant telescopes to its dance with Mars, it underscores humanity's ingenuity in unraveling cosmic mysteries. We've covered the facts. A 20-kilometer nucleus of ice and organics, a safe 28-million-kilometer Mars pass, and groundbreaking observations from Hubble, JWST, and beyond. No aliens, no doomsday, just pure science inspiring us to look up. What do you think? Does 3i slash ATLAS make you more excited about interstellar exploration? Share your thoughts in the comments below like if you learned something new and subscribe for more dives into space science. Hit the bell so you don't miss updates on the Mars flyby. Thanks for joining me on this stellar adventure. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars.